Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hello, guys, this is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing on how to add cover art slash box art for retro art for your Vita or your PSTV. With that being said, as well, please be sure to follow my latest social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel. And if you guys ever wanted to support my channel in any shape or form, you can feel free to donate via my PayPal. There will be a link in the description below. And as well, you can just type the URL via from the photo shown on the screen right now. But this is, of course, purely optional and with that being stated out of the way we could go ahead and start talking about the prerequisites and things you'll need for this video so of course you need a modded playstation vita or pstv via using the hankaku hr core of the new trinity hack that was released not too long ago as well your system needs to be on firmware either between 3.60 or 3.70 firmware to run those exploits as stated as well need the latest version of vita shell you also need the latest version of retroarch as well you also need a file called thumbnail.zip file that contains your box art or your cover art for your respective console and what i mean by that is so i'll show you a little on later in the video there is a website where you could have basically download all of your uh cover arts for your respective console that you want to emulate on retroarch so there's tons of it so if you wanted to do you know super nintendo there's that on the website and it's from the official uh retroarch um little index they have right there and as well you'll need um filezilla ftp client using either um our usb cable if you guys want to transfer over your files via that method as well and before we even get started on to you know giving out special thanks i just want to give some tips and reminders out the way on how to set this up so if you have any trouble within the video or if i go too fast you could go ahead and you know view this screen right here right now so one of the tips and reminders is to get our box art or cover art to show into retroarch we need to go into settings user interface appearance thumbnails and box art so those are the file structures we need to go ahead and set up via within a uh, retroarch for our vita and as well you need to turn off left thumbnails options off as well you need to turn thumbnails vertical disposition off as well and last but not least i just want to give a special thanks out to libretro for developing retro arc and i just want to give a big big thank you to all of my supporters and you know subscribers or anybody who really watches my stuff on a daily basis so big thank you to you and with that being said we could go ahead and get started on the actual video all right guys that you did follow all the prerequisites as in the intro we could go ahead and get started on the actual tutorial via from the PC. but before we even get started on you know the actual nitty gritty and you know doing the whole process i'm going to go ahead and explain each of these files right here because i know that they kind of look crazy on the screen and you may be like nagos what are all of these files and why they are useful for this process so as shown here i have the latest version of retroarch.vpk and any file i'll be using will be in a link in the description below and this is what we need of course to you know get our emulators running on our vita and also we need these files right here um to basically for our box art and cover art these are just the uh, zip files of them and they're pretty large in size since they have you know each ever game that was made for the super nintendo or nes so i'll show you guys right here how the uh, folders are supposed to be looking like so if you just extract this out using renoir you'll get a folder like this and then you have your box art to be over here and then as shown here um you'll see all the box arts for all the nes games that were basically ever made or you know ever made and it's, it goes for the same thing as for you know if you go into the name underscore snaps i will have all of those files as well to showcase on your vita so it kind of gives your you know the games more of an official look and it gives you know better uh you know it looks better for the user interface so if you just go ahead and scroll through here you can see that once you extract all of your files onto your pc you'll get all of these uh you know files or basically the box art slash cover art for your respective console that you want to 
emulate now if i go into google chrome as shown here there will be a link in the description below or you can just type this website in this is where i got all of the um you know actual image files that we're going to be using in today's video so and there's a ton of them as well so it's just not for the vita you could do this for your pc as well but let's say if you wanted to download the sega mega drive genesis or yeah the sega genesis dot zip file and you have a bunch of sega genesis roms you can go ahead and download that file and as shown here you can just put it to your desktop unzip it and then you'll get these uh stated files as shown here and i'm just going to go ahead and run through the super nintendo ones just so you can see that it's all the same thing like i showed you with the nes one so now that it's out the way and i showed you guys on how to get the actual um files if you want your certain box arts i told you why we need retroarch.vpk we could go ahead and get started from the actual tutorial so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and boot into my playstation vita so my screen is going to go black right here in a second i'm going to go ahead and broadcast it on a screen as shown here what we need to do is go ahead into vita shell go ahead and hit continue into it and what we need to do is go ahead and create where a folder real quick so if you don't have your games in one folder or a retro arc folder what i like to do is just put them under a folder called retro arc underscore roms into my ux zero and then from here i like to label my games all into one folder so i'll show you guys what i mean in example so all of my nes games are all in one uh, separate folder so it's more easier to you know basically you know you know go through same thing with my snes games and same thing with my sega genesis and also my main arcade game so the list goes on and on what we need to do now though is go ahead and transfer over retro arc from our pc via using either your usb method which i do require or i do recommend i should say for this process since all those thumbnails will take a extremely you know long amount of time to transfer over but in my case i'm going to be doing ftp since i am using the plugin to stream over and anytime i use usb it won't basically you won't see it on the screen so what we need to do now is go ahead and hit start on our vitas scroll all the way down to where it says select button and if you guys want to do usb method which i just stated that i recommend go ahead and plug in your cable to your pc to your vita and then just make sure that it's toggled over but if you guys do want to do ftp method what you can do is go ahead and scroll left and right go ahead and scroll over to ftp and then hit circle out and then if your wi-fi is on go ahead and hit select and then you will see basically your ip address and also the port yours will be different of mine's of course and but the port's the same it's one three three seven so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and transfer back over from my uh vita to pc and we're going to go ahead and open up files of ftp client i have a link in the description below on how to download that as well but all we need to do is go ahead and type in our systems ip as of course the port is one three three seven just go ahead and hit quick connect uh you should see all your directories if you don't see all your directories you don't have unsafe homebrew unticked in hankaku settings so do that before you do this process but you should see ux zero what we need to do is go ahead and scroll all the way down and then transfer over our retro arc.vpk file and then since i already have it in here i'm just going to go ahead and overwrite it so it shouldn't take too long for uh, this process to do its thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right here. And then once this process has fully been finished, I'll tell you guys the next step on what we need to do. 2000 years later. All right guys, so here, basically RetroArc has six transferred over to my um, Vita. What we need to do now is go ahead and just minimize this out from here. Let me go back into my Vita right now so you guys can see it on the screen. So it may take a little second to boot up. All right, so my Vita is back on the screen right now. What we need to do is go ahead and just cancel our FTP server. And from our UX0, we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down to find our retroarc.vpk file. And then we're gonna go ahead and install it just like a normal package. So it shouldn't take too long for this ins to install, but what I'm gonna do is just pause the video right here as well. And then once that uh, process has finished, what we're gonna do is go ahead and run RetroArch just one time so we can get all our data folders to pop up into UX0. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and copy all of our thumbnails. So I'll meet you guys back once that process is finished. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so RetroArc.vpk has finished installing on my Vita. What I'm going to go to is go ahead and just install it. 
and then just run it one time as needed so all we need to do for this process is just wait for it to basically pop up to its main menu and then what we're going to do is just go ahead and go back out to RetroArch again go into Vita shell and then what we're going to do is go ahead and FTP or if you in your case if you're using USB go ahead and do that right now but I'm going to go ahead and run my FTP server by hitting select on our system and what we need to do is go ahead and from our PC so this is what I'm going to go right now and then from our PC we're going to go back into FileZilla scroll all the way up and then if you need to go ahead and type your IP or important just go ahead and hit quick connect to do this but what we're going to do is go ahead into UX0 scroll all the way down to our data folder into our retro arc folder and then from here where it says thumbnails if you don't have this folder go ahead and just right click go into create directory and enter it and just type thumbnails in all lowercase but this is where all of our game folders needs to be in this format so as shown here i just go and just put all of our name underscore box arts into this so the easiest way on how to do this is you know do this via with a usb but all you would have to do is just drag and drop from here and then basically just wait for it to finish just as normal with files the ftp client i'm going to go ahead and skip that step only due to the fact of how long it takes for me to transfer these files over as shown here there's over 2014 uh, pictures just for one box art for the nes but what we need to do now is go ahead once you guys assuming that you transferred over uh, successfully and everything's done from there via if you did files of the ftp client or via with usb what we need to do now is go ahead and minimize out of that go back into um my vita and then i'll show you guys on how it should look via from here once you transferred it over so just to double check that all of your files are into one place what we're going to do now is go into our data folder go into retro arc slash scroll all the way down to thumbnails and as you see in here if you did transfer all of your files over via what ftp or as usb as stated you should see all your box art folder and if you click x on them in the vita shell it would actually show the actual uh pngs which is pretty cool now what we need to do is go ahead and back out from here i'm just going to go ahead and hit restart vita shell and then go run back into retro art and then what we need to do is fairly simple and it's pretty easy to do as well and this is was the actual reminders and tips I stated. So what we need to do is go to our settings from our um, into RetroArch, excuse me. And what we need to do is go into user interface by hitting circle, scroll all the way down to appearance. Then from all the way down here, we need to go ahead and make our settings where it says thumbnails. Go ahead and hit box art for left thumbnails. Go ahead and just make sure that it's off. And then where it says thumbnail vertical disposition, go ahead and turn that off as well and if everything is you know said and done if you scroll all the way down to your list you should see that your games have its cover art right here so shown here my all my nes games uh has this cover art as well it may take a little while for me for mine to pop up since i have over 2400 um you know files into one area for um my games but essentially that's how you do that full process if you guys have any questions or have any issues on you know setting this up via with vita show or retroarch you go ahead and contact me below in my comment section or you could dm me at nagato's revenge at my twitter and all my uh, social medias will be in the link in the description below what that would that being said i'm going to go ahead and end the video here and i'll see you guys next time peace